Preparing for Jesus by Walter Wangren, Jr. December 11th. O oh Mary, how blessed is your yes. A reading from St. Luke. Mary answered the angel, Behold, I am the maidservant of the Lord. Let it happen to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Mary, mother of our Lord, I wish I could be as pure a disciple as you were even from the beginning. For you were invited to join a sisterhood with Tamar and Bathsheba of sorrow and human suffering, since the child of your womb would draw the hatreds and the outrages of a scoundrel world. And you said, yes. For you were asked to serve faithfully on behalf of others, like Rahab, to protect a few for the sake of the many, like Ruth, to turn disappointment into joy. And you said, yes. For it was an angel that spoke to you, a sky strider, an inhabitor of holy heaven, whose face caught fire from standing near to God, whose glory darkened all the common world in which you lived. Yet you did not hesitate in fear or horror. You said, yes. For history was pouring into your womb, the whole history of the Israel, backward from David, through David, even unto Abraham. Yet you were but a single person, one lone woman. How could a vessel of simple human limitation hold 20 centuries of national endeavor, triumph, failure, sin, atonement, trouble, prayer, and promise, and not burst open. But you would burst, Mary. You would spew the son of David into Judah again, and he would keep every past promise of God. And you said yes. For heaven itself, was swelling within you, and you were the door. Not in terrible glory would he come, this son of the Most High God, not in the primal blinding light, nor as the shout by which God uttered the universe, nor yet with the trumpet that shall conclude it, but through your human womb as an infant, bawling and hungry. By your labor, Mary, by the fierce contractions of your uterus, eternity would enter time. The angel said, will you be the door of the Lord into this place? And you said, yes. Two thousand years before you, another woman heard an angel declare that she would bear a son. Sarah was very old then, 90 years old. And because of her great age, she laughed. Her reaction to the impossible promise was a disbelieving, scornful snort. After I'm old and my husband is old, shall I have pleasure? To her, the angel said what Gabriel said to you, is anything too hard for the Lord? Ah, Mary, but your reaction to a promise more impossible than Sarah's was a sweet, complete obedience and faith. Let it happen to me according to your word. You, the first of all the disciples of Jesus, said yes.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the faith of a maiden in whose obedience your plan for the reconciliation of the whole world was begun. I beg you too that you might empower me in pure simplicity. Teach my mouth and all my parts to make this single response to whatever task you set before me, this. Let it be to me according to your word. Yes. Amen.